Hey, these are Mr. Hey, these are these are Mr. Bars. No, this is Mr. Bar, and these are the notes for sums and differences in scientific notation. So, what are we talking about here? So, we're going to start adding and subtracting numbers that are in scientific notation. I have two options that I'm going to teach here, although the first option is probably the best option. Option one is to take both of these numbers and put them both into standard form. Then add and subtract them, add or subtract them, and then put them back in the scientific notation. So that's one option. Option two, you know what, let's do this one as option one. So here we go, in our notes, we're gonna add those two numbers together. So here are my notes. Let's start with our name. So once you start with your name, since you don't need to put my name on it. So let's start with the name. And our title is adding and subtracting. in scientific notation. Now, if you've got a good calculator, it'll do all this math for you, and I'm okay with that, but I'm also gonna teach you how to do it without a, a good calculator. So here's a calculator, and I can do this question 1.23, now my calculator has this scientific notation function, which means that's 1.23 times 10 to the seventh plus 4.5, 10 to the third. So my, my calculator will actually do scientific notation and there's our final answer. But I'm gonna show you how to do it with just a normal basic calculator. So I'm gonna take both of these numbers So I have 1.23 times 10 to the seventh plus 4.5 times 10 to the third. And I'm gonna start by putting them both into standard form. So for this guy, I'm gonna add seven zeros and make seven jumps. So I have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this one, I'm gonna add three zeros and make three jumps. Okay, let's get ready for my jumps. Right, seven jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here's my first number right there. Three jumps. One, two, three. There's my second number right there. Now using my calculator, I'm gonna add those numbers together. Or I could actually just do it without a calculator, so I'll do it without a calculator. This is 4,500. So it's gonna give me one, two, three, zero, four, five, zero, zero. But I'm okay if you use a calculator. Is that the same number? Oh. See, is that the same number I got with my calculator? Let's try it with the calculator again. So 1.23 scientific notation form to the seventh plus 4.5 scientific notation to the third 
one two three zero four five zero zero. Yep. I'm okay with the calculator, but if you don't have a calculator, you've got to use a method like this. Let's do a subtraction one now. Actually, we can have to look. We'll check our answer with the. Uh... Oh, so here's the answer. Now, if on a test or on something it wanted it in scientific notation, I could then put it back into. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could put it back into scientific notation, depending on what form I want it in. All right, let's do a subtraction problem now. That's another addition one. Another addition one. There's a subtraction one. So this one will also go in our notes. Three point four times ten to the thirteenth minus five point six times ten to the eleventh. And I am fine if you have a calculator that can do scientific notation and using that calculator even on a test. If your calculator can do it, that's fantastic. I'm going to take both of these and put them out of scientific notation. So this is going to be 3, 4 with how many zeros? 13 zeros. Arg. And how many jumps? 13 jumps. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen jumps. I'm not even sure a calculator is going to be able to handle that. Minus with eleven zeros one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. With eleven jumps one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11 jumps. Get those into a calculator and subtract them. Now, that's a lot of zeros to hold on to. But we'll do it. And a little 99 cent store calculator probably can't even handle that many zeros, but we'll try it here. Ready? 3, 4, With how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 zeros. Minus 34 with, uh, not a 34, 56. With 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 zeros. Uh, my calculator is it's actually doing 3.344 times 10 to the 13th. Three point, I'm telling you, calculators are better than doing it this method, but i got to teach it. So 3.344 times 10 to the, what was it? 13th. Here's how I would have done it on the calculator, just straight up on the calculator. 3.14, scientific notation, 13 minus 5.6, scientific notation, 11. If you come to my live class and bring a calculator, I'll show you how to use it. Oh, didn't like that, did it? 3.4, exponent 13 minus 5.6, exponent 11. So 3.344 times 10 to the 13th. All right, so you need to be able to do those two things, and I, I'm highly recommending just figuring out how to use a, a calculator to do this work. The other method I'll 
I'll teach you one. I'll show you one other method for this. I could do this. going to make one up. We'll do this one in your notes too. We'll do another addition problem. So this one would be almost impossible without having this other method. So let's go with 3.4 times 10 to the 80th. Yeah, I know. You're not going to put out 80 zeros. Plus 4.7 times 10 to the 78th. So watch what I'm going to do here. And see if this makes sense. This is 3.4 times 10 to the second times 10 to the 78th. Right? 10 to the second, 10 to the 78th. Well, that's 10 to the 80th. Plus, I'm going to write it out here 4.7 times 10 to the 78th. I broke this thing down, which means I can totally ignore these numbers for a moment because they're identical, 78 and 78, I can ignore it. So let's add these two numbers together. Let's do 3.4 times 10 to the second, 3.4 times 10 times 10, So that's 340 plus the 4.7 is 344.7. Four, four so what I have is 344.7 four, four times 10 to the 78th, oh, which is still kind of ugly. Man, this is not the most fantastic lesson I've done. People use a calculator. Get a calculator. We'll use an online calculator. Use a calculator to do these problems. These huge scientific notation problems are a mess. Use a calculator. So maybe our lesson is, can you find a calculator either online or a good scientific one and learn how to do these problems? I will be in Zoom and I will help you. You've got it. Let's do this with calculators, okay? Um, so our notes for today are, let's just keep those are the notes for today. Name, adding and subtracting, one addition problem, one subtraction problem. Those are your notes. Learn how to use a calculator. Check in with me.